Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. I wanted to bring you this little short review today about boots. And this one particular boot I'm going to review, and I think it's an excellent value. Um, I've had all kinds of boots, real expensive to real cheap to junky boots to boots that last me a long time. And um, I bought this pair of boots from Walmart almost... 10 years ago and I wear them not constantly but I do wear them every year especially in the winter time and then at certain times in the summer like if I'm going hiking camping that sort of thing um, but they are excellent boots now I just recently looked up these boots to kind of make sure I can give you the correct pricing and a little history about them um, these boots are, are $40. They're $39.66 to be exact online. Now, these right here were called 50 Peaks is the name of these boots. And they are a waterproof hiking style boot. Now, again, I've wore these about 10 years um, off and on. And uh, this year... I've worn them again uh, during the snow time and so forth. They still remain waterproof. Uh, they're not torn up. They're not coming apart. Anything. And I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty hard on shoes and boots. Um, so the reason I started looking this year trying to replace these boots was these have started to be brutally honest with you they've kind of started smelling and it's not like a real bad foot odor it's just where the interior inside of it is starting to break down and, and because of moisture and stuff from your feet um but the inside is still good it's still not it's not broken down or rotted or anything um it just started having a little bit of a musty kind of smell um and i thought you know i know i didn't pay much for them back then and I, they've been really good so i started researching them again so here's the deal i found these boots again on walmart's website but they are called ozark trail they're the exact same boot and if i had to guess uh this 50 peaks was a house brand of walmart they switched ozark trail probably made in the same company uh same uh, by the same company for walmart if you go and look at the reviews for this particular boot on walmart's website uh, under the Ozark Trail brand, you'll see that it gets excellent reviews. So I knew that I'd found probably the right boot. It looks identical. There's a couple minor little things because this right here has the 50 Peaks logo right here. The, I think the Ozark Trail did not, but either way, they're waterproof. They're kind of a chocolate brown color. Um, if you look, the soles are still good. And I like this sole pattern because Yes, it it can get a little bit of mud in it, but nothing like a lug pattern that really holds in the mud. Um, they're pretty grippy on surfaces. Again, I wear these a lot in the winter, especially during the snow. We've just had fairly decent snow in my area uh, over the last uh, couple weeks off and on so i've been wearing these again in the snow with no issues. I have since replaced the laces a couple times. The way I replace my laces, I always use 550 cord anyway on any of my boots. I don't care what they are. If they're just a standard GI style boot or they're one of these um, hiking style boots, um, I always use 550 cord. So if you're looking for an excellent value for a, uh, just, a, just a kind of a standard non-tactical um, but yet very durable waterproof boot, um, I think you would be uh, this would be a wise choice for you to look at if you're on a budget again forty dollars and these have lasted me like ten years so I've had other boots the real expensive boots that didn't last me that long um, then again I've had some that did so it's kind of hit or miss I know that um, but I think for the guys on a budget or the girls any ladies I'm sure they have your size out there too if you want a decent looking boot with uh you know this waterproof and uh, these are insulated i don't know what to what degree but my feet normally if you wear wool socks uh, they stay pretty warm that's uh um uh, you know just a given in the winter time you need wool socks um 
but they like I said they've held up well um uh, kind of hard to show you um I, now normally i usually put some kind of dressing on my leather um minkle snow proof it's called it's kind of this uh, pasty like stuff I usually put some of that on periodically uh, just to condition the leather keep it decent uh, you know I don't know the quality of leather obviously it's held up it's not even split here uh, which usually cheaper leathers and stuff and boots will start splitting right here where your foot bends this is not it's obviously got a little bit of a crease here but it's not uh, started even deteriorating at all other than the crease itself so again i'm i'm super happy about these boots and i wanted to pass it along to you guys i think that uh, this would be an excellent choice for you if you got any questions post those below if you have any experience with this boot or you know some kind of boot that you've found that's an excellent value again i try bringing budget friendly items i could easily have shown you a 160 dollars pair of Merrells or something but at the end of the day I try um, finding researching things that I've used in the past that was budget friendly and I think these definitely fit into that uh, category as always like share and subscribe uh, if you have any questions post those below and we'll be bringing you a video shortly have a good day guys